Hey everyone, welcome to this Windows channel. And this will answer the question that I've got so many times since Windows 10 is available. And um, the reason I had not done any videos yet is just that it wasn't really clear, but now we know exactly how to do it. So you upgraded to Windows 10 and you decide that you want to clean install. How is it going to work? That was the main question. And I didn't have an answer until today. So, if you want Windows 10, the first time you install, you have to upgrade. No choice. You have to be within Windows 7 SP1 or Windows 8.1 and choose the upgrade from the notification. Or maybe you forced the upgrade using the tricks in one of my videos. Whatever you did, as long as you upgraded from within your existing operating system to Windows 10, and that all is well and it's activated, then you can finally download the tool from this page that I'll put once again the link in the description below the video and download, simply download the correct version 32.64 and of course what you'll want to do as soon as you downloaded this tool is create an ISO or an ISO image. So what you do is you run the tool and the tool itself has an option for you to download an image file or an ISO that you can uh, burn on a DVD or you can also use Rufus R U F U S and I'll have a separate video to show you how to create a bootable uh, USB thumb drive by the way. So once you download this tool what you want to do is create an installation media for another PC you choose the language, once again, you choose the correct uh, version of your OS, 32-64-bit, depending on what you want. You do Next, but you click ISO file, and then you click Next. What it does, it's going to download the ISO file to whatever spot you decided. So, if, for example, if you Put it in documents like it says here you'll have something called windows dot iso in documents you can put it on the desktop or so whatever you want and from that you'll be able to actually do a real clean install and you know why the reason why is that when you upgraded the first time from within windows 7 sp1 or from windows um 8.1, the Windows 10 sent a hardware ID. It's unique to your computer and it's information that's about uh, motherboard, CPU and all sorts of other information it can get and it makes like a tag with that information. Once you do a clean install and the important thing is that it will ask you, of course, for a product key because it does not have any way of verifying. What you do is you just ignore it. You don't enter anything in the product key and you just continue the install. And when you get to the final install, when everything's right, you'll see that magically your Windows 10 will activate by itself. You don't need a product key and never ask for one because Windows 10 you will never have a product key Microsoft will never issue a product key to you you'll never see one unless you buy it of course so just upgrade make your image file on a bootable DVD or USB thumb drive and simply clean install from scratch, remove everything and simply 
ignore the product key when it asks for the product key and you'll see it's gonna work it's gonna activate and everything is gonna be okay because it will examine your hardware and compare it online and say oh okay this PC is activated with Windows 10 free it's okay so that's how you do it I hope this answers the so many questions that everybody had about what about if I want to clean install and that was a big question and it was a legitimate le legitimate question you know because I also personally want to eventually clean install I'm actually thinking of cleaning clean installing it this week because there's a few things on my laptop that I don't like that I want to change and by doing so I will also uh, make a video showing the full procedure how I'm using it how I'm doing a clean install a lot of you have been asking that and I'll be doing probably a video for that and um, it'll be a long video because I'll be really just filming and, and no just doing no editing at all um, install of Windows 10 and that's it if you enjoy our videos want to subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions anything you want to know anything you want to ask why not ask us we'll be happy to help you if we can and uh, maybe do a video and help others at the same time so thank you for watching and hope to see you again.